Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to compress JPEG images to WebP file format. Okay let's go ahead and open up the web browser and I'm just on my website here and I want to go to my portfolio and I've started to compress the images in my portfolio from JPEG files to WebP format so that they load faster, right? So my website's pretty fast as it is, but if we can improve our website load speed by just simply compressing images, which doesn't take long, then we should go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go over to company logo design and I wanna work on this particular project here. It's called Spa London. So I'm gonna click on it and we can see that um, in the portfolio, there's one main image here and then there's the logo here and then these three images here. So there's three here, four, and there's the main one on the, on the portfolio. So there's uh, five in total, right? So I'm gonna go over to my admin control panel and I can see these five images here, right? So, and they're all in JPEG format. So I'm just gonna middle mouse click them just to open them in a new tab. And I'm going to move this to one side quickly and we're going to open up this folder and let's just get rid of this stuff here and we're going to drag this image into here and the other ones as well just to grab all five images right so we can close down all of these pages and we're left with the five images and if we select them all they come to 927 kilobytes so just under one megabyte so I'm going to go over to this website here it's called freeconvert.com JPEG to WebP file format. And we want to convert them from JPEG to WebP so these images load faster. So I'm going to go ahead and select them all and drag and drop them into this website. And it's going to ask me to convert to WebP. So I'm going to accept that. And it's going to upload the image and it's going to convert each one into a WebP file format. So this will take a few seconds to do. And we have them all now. So I'm going to go ahead and click download all. And it's going to create a zip file and let's drag that zip file into this folder and let's see the difference now so let's right click and we're going to extract all and we can get rid of the zip file so these five images originally in jpeg format was 927 kilobytes let's go ahead and open up this folder select those same images and we can see they're at 616 kilobytes so we reduced it by almost 33 percent close to 33 percent right so I'm going to rename this one. I'm going to get rid of this little bit of text here. And let's go ahead and upload these images to that particular project. So let's go into the admin control panel. We'll click edit. And we want to go to this particular folder. So the first image is going to be the preview one. So let's browse here. We'll go into this folder. And there's one in here called preview, which is this one. We'll select it. Let's go to this uh, one here, which will be the times one image. So we'll select that one. Then there's a times two image, which is this one. And there's a times, let's do it quickly. There's a times three image here, this one here. And then finally, there's this one here, which is the main image, which is going to be the content one. So I'm going to click open and then go ahead and click save. So now they're all in WebP file format. If we go to the browser and we refresh it, we can see the images are loading pretty fast. If we go to the portfolio and click on the uh, company logo design this image here will now load faster it's a much smaller file format and same same here as well so we can do a little test uh, we can go to Google page speed and we can go to this website here which is pagespeed.web.dev and we can go ahead and see how did that improve did it, did it actually make the page load a little bit quicker what is our scores looking like for mobile and desktop so we'll close this window here let's just let this load, it will take a few seconds to load. So we can see we get about 50% performance on mobile. Mobile tends to be a lot slower than um, desktop, right? It always is that way. Um, and then if we go to uh, the desktop, let's see, we're getting like a 95% score, right? So that's pretty high, that's quite good. And we can see um, we've compressed those images, which is helping to make this page load a little bit quicker you can always recompress them as well webp you can actually you know do more compression on the images but this is like a good solution a quick solution to compress images from jpeg file format into webp so i'm actually going through my website bit by bit uh, and compressing those images down just to make everything load a lot quicker so you can see it's loading very very fast now compared to before it wasn't slow before by any means but now it is like you know super fast 
uh, loading of images, which is what we want. When people visit our websites, we want them to load as quickly as possible, and that helps to retain uh, people on your website and uh, it just improve the usability, right? Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this. That's how you go about converting JPEG files to WebP file format. Um, hopefully you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.